Hello everyone, welcome to the webinar series on Chatblazer, our enterprise chat solution. The webinar series is broken into skill levels and categories, so you can quickly and easily find a tutorial to the features that you need. This particular webinar episode will be covering general usage at the beginner level for the chat client. Once the chat client is launched, you will see a login screen. You can either log in as a guest or a member. Guests require no password. Members have a username and a password. Member username and passwords can be assigned in the administrator or authenticated from an external database. That will be covered in a much later webinar. Right now I'm going to enter as a member. Once I'm in, I will see the rooms list. All of the actual rooms and windows within the Chatblazer chat client float. So basically they can be moved, minimized, maximized, expanded, however you see fit. Gives it maximum flexibility. The administrator can also set the sizes for each window and make them static or dynamic, whichever he prefers. In this case, we'll just leave it as a default setting. The rooms list will pop up and you simply have a rooms list, which only shows one at this time, so you double click to enter it, and you're entered into the chat room. When you're in the chat room, the right pane will show you the user list. This can be expanded or contracted depending on your preference or even closed altogether. But it will show you who's in the actual room itself. Below you have the chat input box. This is where you type. The actual message will come out in the chat room. Everyone that types will have their name along with the message and their avatar come out. All of this is adjustable by the administrator. We'll show you that when we cover the configuration adjustments in the later webinar. Right now what we want to do is cover the end user features which are here on this little taskbar right here. The features taskbar gives you essentially all the tools you need to change the chat on your local computer so what you see can be changed and also what the end user is going to see on the other end people that you're chatting to. The first option is the input mode which is either choosing between a text input which is typing or a pen. If you select pen you can draw and send it to the room. For text you can type and then of course you have the bold italics and also the text color options that you can push to the room. Along with those you have font size. A font size selection by default will give you 11, 12, 13, and 15 point font. This can be adjusted by the administrator and this font size only affects your local browser. It does not affect anyone else. So if I choose to see the font in 11 point and I type in 11 point, everyone else will see whatever font size that they choose, not what I choose. Emoticons are essentially a mix of smileys and swifts, which are shockwave files showing animation. You have typical smileys, and then you've got, of course, the animated ones. All of these can be adjusted, modified, customized any way see fit by the administrator. Uh, you can also trigger these by simply using whatever code is put behind them, which typical smiley faces, colon and parentheses. Next option is audio messages. This can be turned on or off by the administrator as well. By default, we have some on here, like for instance, this one that yells Yahoo. Okay, an MP3 play, MP3 file, excuse me, can be uploaded to the server for the administrator to assign any types of messages he wants, where he can simply turn it off. Another good feature is canned messages. This is for members only and typically used by monitors and moderators or someone in a industry using the chat such as a salesman. Uh, anytime you have to repeatedly say something it tends to get very tedious so you can actually can that message meaning you can make a pre pre-made message that you simply click on. For example if someone comes in the room and I get sick of typing hello everyone I can select it and pass it along. If you want to create a new one, you simply click New, put the title, hello, hello, whatever you want as the message, and it will be saved here. When you log back in, it will still be there. If you want to use it, you simply click on your Canned Messages button, 
select the one you wish to use, click use, and it will put it down there for you. All you need to do is select send. Another option is the pic share. If you want to push a picture to the room, not actually the file, but just show the picture within the chat room, you click the button, select the picture you want to push, and it loads it to the room. The size is going to be shown in the native resolution of the actual image unless the administrator restricts the size, of which case by default it will only allow the image to be so big as to not clutter the room. Another good feature is the push URL. If you wish people to pass links within the chat, the push URL is a more of a formal way to push a clickable link. You click the push URL button, enter in the URL, and it will show that you, your member, sent a URL and pushed it out. There's also an auto URL feature, whereas I could just type www.yahoo.com and it would automatically detect that the URL is clickable and it would make it clickable in the chat room. That is off by default, so we just use the push URL for right now. Two other features that are really great within the chat room are the file library and the media library. The file library allows you to upload any type of file that the administrator allows, which means it can be an image file, uh, they can allow something like an Excel or a PowerPoint file, even an executable, which we don't want to put on there typically, but it can be done. You simply click upload, it opens up your local computer, desktop, whatever the directory is that you have it pointed to, select file, click open, and it uploads it. And it also identifies this in the chat room that someone has uploaded a file. That file is only going to this specific chat room as well. Each file library is specific to each room. So only people in this room can see these files. Users can open up the file library and simply click on it and either download it locally and look at it or delete it. The delete function is actually specific to the owner of the file and also moderators, mods, uh, monitors, and the administrator. They, they're the only ones that can actually delete the files. Another feature is the media library. There's two things you can do with this. One is add YouTube links, which will play the YouTube video within an embedded player in the chat, essentially in this floating window. You just simply add the link, click add, and it will do it the exact same way that the file library has. It will just paste it there for people to play. Only people that can delete are the owner, the person that uploaded it, the moderator, the monitor, or the admin. The other option is a record feature, which requires our video module. If you click record, you can record a live stream of your webcam and audio to be posted into this library. It cannot be used as an archive upload for people to view. Um, it's simply live cam feed that is recorded and viewed. Last two things on the taskbar are the chat transcript and the clear the chat area. Chat transcript is handy if you need to see past messages. It'll pop up a copy and pasteable um, form that you can simply select and pull from and it will show you everything from the room that has happened from the time you have logged into the room or entered the room until you exit. If you need more specific transcript information you can contact your administrator as all chat transcripts are saved on the server side with an abundance of um, language that goes along with them that you can sort through. If you want to clear your screen you simply clear and it will take everything off your chat input to reduce the clutter. It does not clear the transcript. You still have that right here. You simply clear it and it only affects your screen. So it gets rid of the clutter. Those are the very basic features by default in the Chatblazer Enterprise level package. Uh, it's available to our hosted clients and also enterprise server license clients. There are also features uh, that you can get to clicking on each member on the wallpaper and also preferences that can be addressed. Those will all be hit in later webinars, so please stay tuned. Thank you for participating.